What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make some tempura squash. I'm not gonna be making a lot of tempura for lunch today, so it's a half a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm not big on coffee. I don't mind season watermelon. I can spit those out. Hey friends, I'm Henry with Brainstorm Makers. I'm back in the kitchen. Today, I'm going to be using some squash to make a frittata for Irene for lunch. She'll get one that has egg whites only, and I'll get whole egg. Now, one of the things that she likes is she likes some brown on her squash. So I'm going to go ahead and saute the squash down a bit. I'm not gonna saute mine as much. The nice thing is you can do it the way an individual likes it. I have about two teaspoons of oil in the bottom of this pan. I'm going to put the cut up squash. It's cut into about half inch cubes, more or less cubes. I'll be putting that into the pan and start rendering it down. Now it just takes time to saute these vegetables. For Irene's frittata, I'm just using the squash and egg whites. It's gonna take a while for these vegetables to saute down. Irene likes to have some browning on her squash. And I can do that. In the meantime, I think I'm going to start getting my ingredients ready to go. Now, Irene's frittata has about three of these patty pans diced up. I'm going to use this one and I think maybe one more from the refrigerator. There's a little browning on the squash now. It's going to reduce in volume to about two-thirds of what it started off as. Now you may be wondering what I'm going to do with these four egg yolks that I have over here from Irene's Frittata. I'm saving them. I'll be making something else tonight. Something that I haven't made for a little while, and so we're out of it. Irene wants me to make some, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Meantime, this goes in the refrigerator. You can't flip food in a pan. Use a spatula. Now, we grew some candy onions this summer. This is one of the smaller ones that we picked. I'm gonna go ahead and dice this up for my frittata, and I'll caramelize the onions before I start cooking. There's one beautiful candy onion. It has a nice onion smell, but it's a sweet onion. It's not gonna knock your socks off with onion flavor. It's good onion flavor, but it's not going to bring tears to your eyes. Now, if you're growing onions and you don't get much onion taste with your onions, it means that you needed to have additional sulfur in your soil. We use 
ammonium sulfate. We also use Epsom salts. Both of them can bring sulfur to the soil and help your onions get that kind of nice aroma. Well, that squash is almost cooked down enough. What I want is I want it to be one layer thick because I have to pour these egg whites over it and cook it. Now, if you were doing a frittata the classic way, you'd have another frying pan that you put over the top of this one. Actually, you'd be using an omelet pan because this is really a kind of omelet. You would put the omelet pan over the top of this one and then you flip both pans at the same time so that the frittata will come back down on this top and finish cooking. I don't want to get two pans dirty so I'm going to go ahead and try flipping it over using a spatula and a few other little techniques. I'm using avocado oil today. You could use any kind of neutral oil that you'd like. I prefer neutral oils, but if you want to have something that has more oil flavor, you can choose other oils or fats. You could use butter. You can use lard. This is a pretty good oil. It has some good health properties and it has a high smoke temperature. I put about another teaspoon of oil into the pan. There's some lovely browning of this squash. I need to get a little more browning on some of it and then I'm ready to use the egg whites. I've made all different kinds of frittatas. One of my favorite ones was an asparagus frittata that a friend of mine and I cooked for a large feast. We had about a hundred people at that event and we cooked frittata on a stovetop that was supposed to be a more commercial range like this one. What we ended up with were, was one residential range that had four burners on the top of it. We needed to have two pans going at the same time and two people watching it. So he cooked left-handed, I cooked right-handed. We stood right next to each other and managed to get all the frittatas done in time for the serving. Well, here we go. You want the bottom of, of this frittata to be cooked, but you want the top to still be a little liquid. What I'm doing right now is tilting the pan so that I can try to get egg white over all of those pieces of squash. We'll see if I can flip this over without it breaking apart, but if it breaks apart, it's okay. It just won't look beautiful. I think this is probably going to split apart, but we'll give it a try. Made it. Now because this range has a lot of heat retained in the cast iron of the top, I just turn the heat off. The residual heat from the cast iron is going to cook this just fine. It's about time for me to call Irene for lunch. Hey Irene, yeah. you about ready for some lunch? <laughs> Not yet. Hey, no, no spill on this stuff. This has got onion in it. No, there's no onion in it. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to put onion in it. Now I'm going to do onion in mine. Oh, okay. Well, it's a little messy. That's <laughs> okay. I'm going to chew it up anyway. But I think it's going to taste fine. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> My turn. Thanks for watching. I hope this gives you another way to use summer squash. 
You can pick them small, you can let them get big. We prefer to get them smaller because the seeds are tender, if they're even really discernible. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications because we're going to be doing lots more stuff here. Maybe I'll even do some more recipes for how to use summer squash in different ways. Don't forget to read our description in the show notes. We have a lot of things going on. And if you're looking for some things from Amazon, we have a bunch of links for the products that we use. Thanks for watching. We'll talk with you later. Bye.